Hello everybody, this is Maggie and I'm going to be your teacher today. Very good, let's start. Let's open your books, your Discover English One book at page 30. Yes? Open your books. Abrimos los libros. Page 30. Yes? This is your page. Very good. Okay, we're going to start with activity one. Yes? Let's read the title. Listen and read. Match the photos with the descriptions. We're going to listen and read. Then we have to match the photos with the descriptions. Okay, are you ready? Let's start. Unit 3A, Exercise 1. Listen and read. Match the photos with the descriptions. Look at these animals for Discovery Web. They're amazing. A. Dolphins are cool. They can jump and they can sing. This dolphin's name is Sam. He's amazing because he can paint. His pictures are red and blue and yellow. But dolphins can't see colours. They can only see black and white. B. This is the Thai Elephant Orchestra. Jabu and her friends are from Asia and they can play music. They can play the drums but they can't play the guitar. C. Is it a bird? Is it a fish? No, it's Twiggy the Squirrel. Twiggy is a grey squirrel from Florida. He can run and climb trees. He can water ski too, but he can't swim or fly. Bad luck, Twiggy. Very good. Let's see. So, we're going to start with A. Dolphins are cool. They can jump and they can sing. This dolphin's name is Sam. So, what picture is it? Yes? What photo is it? Number one, number two, or number three? Dolphins are cool. They can jump and they can sing. One, two, or three. You can write it on the chat. Okay, well done. It's number three. Yes, these are dolphins. Dolphins. Very good. Now let's go to description B. This is the Thai Elephant Orchestra. Jabu and her friends are from Asia and they can play music. So, the Thai Elephant Orchestra. What photo is it? One or two? If it's an elephant orchestra, it's number one. Good. Now let's go to description C. Is it a bird? Is it a fish? No, it's Twiggy the squirrel. The squirrel. Now we know the squirrel is photo. Photo number two. Very good. This is a squirrel. Twiggy is a grey squirrel from Florida. He can run and climb trees. And climb trees. What is to climb trees? Do you know that? You can write it on the chat. To climb trees. Very good. Estrepar los árboles. Yes? He can water ski too. Water ski. This is water ski. But he can't swim or fly. Bad luck, Twiggy. Very good. Well done. Now, let's see. Now, we're going to read the descriptions again and we're going to underline 
where we have the sentences with can or can't. Let's go to description A. Dolphins are cool. They can jump and they can sing. So here we have can here. Very good. This dolphin's name is Sam. He's amazing because he can paint. Very good. His pictures are red and blue and yellow. But dolphins can't see colors. They can only see black and white. Very good. Now, let's go to description B. This is the Thai Elephant Orchestra. Jabu and her friends are from Asia. And they, they can play music. They can play the drums, but they can't play the guitar. Very good. Now let's go to description C. Is it a bird? Is it a fish? No, it's Twiggy the squirrel. Twiggy is a grey squirrel from Florida. He can run and climb trees. He can water ski too, but he can't swim or fly. Bad luck, Twiggy. Very good. So you can underline these on your books. Pueden subrayar estas palabras en sus libros. Okay? Very good. Now we're going to do activity two. Activity two. Look, here it says, read and answer. Number one, which animal is from Asia? Which animal is from Asia? So let's go back to exercise one and see. We're going to find an animal from Asia. Yes? ¿Cuál animal es de Asia? From Asia. So let's see. Uh, we have the dolphins, we have the elephants, and the squirrel. Take a minute to read and write on the chat which animal is from Asia. Take a minute and read. Okay, very good. The Thai elephant, we have Jabu and her friends are from Asia. So, which animal is from Asia? We're going to write the elephant is from Asia. Ahora lo voy a correr para que lo puedan ver bien. Yes? No. Where is Twiggy from? Where is Twiggy from? Twiggy, remember Twiggy? Who is Twiggy? Here, the squirrel. Where is Twiggy from? Let's see. Is it a bird? Write it on the chat. Where is Twiggy from? Twiggy is a great squirrel. From Florida. Very good. From Florida. So, going to write. Where is Twiggy from? We're going to write Twiggy. We're going to write he is from Florida. Yes, Florida. 
It's a city. Es una ciudad, Florida. He is from Florida. Now, what is the dolphin's name? What is the dolphin's name? Dolphin here. Dolphins are cool. Write it on the chat. What is the dolphin's name? Mm -mm, let's read. Uh, this dolphin's name is Sam. So, I'm going to answer. What is the dolphin's name? We're going to write his name. ¿Por qué usamos his? Because it's the dolphin's name. It's the possessive adjective, yes? His name is Sam. Okay, well done. Very good. Now, we're going to have a look. We're going to do exercise 4 on page 31. Following page. La siguiente página. Look. Exercise 4, page here, 31, yes? Here. Look, we have can, can't. And number 4, we have to complete the sentences and we have to use can or can't, yes? Let's have a look. These sentences are about... The animal from animals from exercise one. Yes? Las oraciones son sobre los animales del ejercicio 1 de la página anterior. Yes? So, we're going to do it having a look at this exercise. Lo vamos a hacer mirando el ejercicio 1 de la página anterior. So, complete the sentences using can or can't. When do we use can? ¿Cuándo usamos can? You can write it on the chat. ¿Cuándo usamos can? Okay, we use can to express an ability. Para hablar de algo que alguien puede hacer. Yes? And when do we use can't? We use can't. Very good. Cuando alguien no puede hacer algo. Yes, it's the negative. Es el negativo. So, number one. Look, this is an example. The elephant in the Thai Elephant Orchestra can play music. Good. Now, Sam mm -mm -mm, paint. Sam mm -mm -mm, paint. Is it can or can't? Write it on the chat. Escríbanlo en el chat. Can or can't? Number two. Sam, dolphin, he, very good, can paint. Can. Now, Jabu, remember Jabu the elephant? Mm -mm -mm. Play the guitar. Is it can or can't? Can or can't? Jabu. Let's see, Jabu the elephant. Jabu and her friends are from Asia and they can play music. They can play the drums, but they can't play the guitar. They can't. So the answer here is Jabu can't play the guitar. Number three, Twiggy mm -mm -mm, fly. Twiggy, the squirrel. Let's see here. Twiggy, mm -mm, fly. Look here. He can water ski too, but he can't swim or fly. He can't swim or fly. So, Twiggy can't fly. Can't fly. Now, dolphins mm -mm, sing. Is it can or can't? Write it in the chat. Dolphins mm -mm, sing. What do you think? 
tall pens look they can jump and they can sing so dolphins can sing wow number six dolphin mm -mm, colors can or can't dolphins mm -mm, colors can or can't can they see colors or not so look here He's, am he's amazing because he can paint. His pictures are red and blue and yellow. But dolphins can't see colors. They can only see black and white. So dolphins can't see colors. Can't. Okay. Very good. Now, we're going to work with a handout. Remember, a handout here on your virtual classroom es una de las fotocopias con las que trabajamos siempre, ¿sí? The handout is called Famous Animals. Handout Famous Animals. To look for it, ustedes, si no lo descargaron todavía, después van a buscarlo en el aula virtual y hacen clic y va a abrir el handout. Yes? Famous Animals. This is the one. Famous animal. So let's see, we're going to analyze this table. We have two characters, Lenny and Scrap. Tenemos dos personajes, Lenny and Scrap. And here we have certain abilities. Tenemos algunas habilidades. We have jump. What is to jump? Good. Saltar. Now swim. Nadar. Climb. ¿Se acuerdan que lo dijimos? Climb. ¿Qué era? ¿Se acuerdan? Yes. Trepar. Escalar. Escalar. And sing. You know, sing. Cantar. Very good. So, when we have a cross, this means that they can't do this. And when we have a tick, means that they can do it. Yes? So, let's see. We're going to complete the text about Lenny. This is Lenny. Yes? What is Lenny? Let's see. Lenny is a... Plim, 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 plim. He is mm -mm, the film Shark's Tail. He mm -mm, swim and sing, but... He mm -mm, jump or climb. So we're going to complete the handout. Vamos a completarlo. Si lo tienen, vayan completándolo también. Lenny is a. ¿Qué dijimos que era Lenny? He is a. Miren, acá tienen una ayudita. He, what animal is it? ¿Qué animal es? Very good. It's a shark. Excellent. Lenny is a shark. He is mm -mm, the film Shark's Tale. He is... We need a preposition here. Necesitamos una preposición. He is... In the film Shark's Tale. Very good. He mm -mm, swim and sing. Let's see. Let's go to the chart here, to the table. He mm -mm, swim and sing. So swim, we have a tick, Lenny. And sing, we have a tick. So he, we can write it in the chat, he can swim and sing, but, but, he mm, jump or climb. Jump or climb? No, so he can't. Jump or climb, yes? Very good. Now, look, here we have a remember chart. So, acuérdense que cuando tienen una fotocopia que dice remember, no hay que doblarla. La van a pegar en la carpeta sin doblarla. And 
we're going to highlight the, the chart, yes? Así que, take your highlighter, agarramos el resaltador, and we're going to highlight it, yes? Lo van a resaltar el cuadro por alrededor con el resaltador, yes? And if you want to, you can highlight the remember, yes? So, let's see, aquí cada vez que lo pasamos nos podemos acordar de esto. So, let's read, remember. We use mm -mm -mm, to talk about abilities in affirmative sentences. Dijimos que estas eran habilidades, yes? Abilities. In affirmative sentences. So, si está en afirmativo, what do we use? What words do we use to talk about abilities in affirmative sentences? Excellent. We use can. Yes? Can. To talk about abilities in affirmative sentences. Now, we use mm -mm -mm to talk about hmm in negative sentences. First of all, what are we talking about? ¿De qué estábamos hablando? Las cosas que los animales podían y no podían hacer. Entonces, estamos hablando de lo que pueden hacer y no. We're talking about abilities. Very good. Abilities. Yes? But in negative sentences, we use... ¿Qué usamos en negative sentences? We use can't. Good. Ok. Very good. Now, look at this. To connect ideas we use. Vamos a hablar de algunas palabras que usamos para conectar ideas. Yes? To connect ideas. So, first we have to connect two things he can do. Two things he can do. So let's go back to the text. Here. He can swim and sing. So two things that he can do. What connector do we use? You can write it on the chart. Yo le estoy dando una ruida. To connect two things he can do. Swim. And sing. We use. Excellent. We use and. To connect two things he can do. Now here, look. To connect two things he can't do. Two things he can't do. So, but he can't jump, mm, climb. Look, what word do we use for these two things that he can't do? He can't jump or fly, or climb. Yes, he can't jump or climb. So we use or to connect two things that he can't do. Yes? Cuando hablamos de dos cosas que puede hacer, para conectar esas dos cosas usamos and. Pero cuando hablamos de dos cosas que no puede hacer, that he can't do, jump or climb, usamos el conector or. Yes? Now. To connect things that he can do and things he can't do. Ahora estamos conectando entre lo que puede y no puede hacer. So, he can swim and sing. He can't jump or climb. And the connector here is... Well done, it's but. Yes, but. He can swim and sing, but he can't jump or climb. Okay, very good. Now, we're going to do exercise C. We're going to write about scrat. About scrat. We're going to start. The text we're going to write is similar to this one. Yes? Vamos a escribir un texto cortito, parecido al de Lenny, pero about Scrat. Yes? Sobre Scrat. We're going to write about Scrat. C. 
similar, yes? We're going to write sentences similar to these ones, to these ones, yes? Vamos a hacer oraciones parecidas a esto. Look, here we have, Lenny is a shark, he's, he's in the film Shark's Tale. So, now we're going to write about Scrat. We're going to start writing. What animal is it? ¿Qué animal es? Era igual que Twiggy del libro, ¿se acuerdan? Do you remember what animal? Okay, good. Scrat is a squirrel. Yes? Good. Scrat is a squirrel. A ver, vamos a ver si podemos aprender un poco la letra. Good. Scrap is a squirrel. Now, let's see. Mm, in the film, so we're going to say in what film he appears. Vamos a decir en qué película aparece. Do you remember? He, uy, here. He is in what movie? In what film he appears? Good. Ice Age. He is in. Oh, miren cómo lo escribí acá. He is in the film. Mm -mm. So vamos a parar. He is in the film. Ice. Age, con mayúscula porque es el nombre de la película. Yes? Good. Now. But, oh, now we're going to talk about abilities. Ahora vamos a hablar de lo que puede y no puede hacer. Here we have the table. Y miren, acá lo tenemos para ayudarnos. Scrat. Let's see. Jump. Good. Can. Swim. Can't. Climb. Can. And sing can't. So first we're going to write about the things he can do. ¿Qué cuáles son? Jump and climb. So going to write. He can dijimos que eran jump climb. So he can jump. Y what connector do we use? To connect things that he can do. ¿Qué conector usamos para conectar dos cosas que puede hacer? Two things he can do. Excellent. And he can jump and climb. He can jump and climb. Good. Y ahora... What connector do we use to connect things he can do and the things he can't do? Good, but, so, but, he can jump and climb, but, he, we're going to talk about the things that he can't do, so, swim, sing, but he can't swim, And what connector to connect two things he can't do? ¿Cuál usamos? Here. Good. He can't swim. Or he can't swim or sing. Good. Let's read it. Read it. Scrat is a squirrel. Yes? So, en la primera oración escribimos qué animal es. Scrat is a squirrel. He is in the film Ice Age. Look, the second sentence. La segunda oración decimos en qué película está. He is in the film and the name of the movie, Ice Age. Now, we talk about the things he can and can't do. 
he can jump and climb, but he can't swim or sing. Yes? Very good. Now, let's have a look at exercise D. This, this exercise is going to be for homework. Yes? Homework. De tarea lo van a hacer después. Pero vamos a explicar cómo lo vamos a hacer. Yes? Look. Choose a famous animal. Tienen que elegir un animal famoso. And write about him or her. Include a picture. So, tenemos que elegir un animal famoso como lo escribimos antes. And we're going to write about him or her. Him si es un varón y her si es una nena. Include a picture. Here we're going to include a picture. Yes? Si no pueden recortarlo, lo dibujan. And then we're going to write. ¿Cómo va a ser el texto que van a escribir? Similar a los otros dos que tenemos. Al de Lenny y al de Scratch. Miren, en la primera oración dijimos que escribíamos qué animal es. Entonces, si eligen otro animal, por ejemplo, a giraffe, you write the name, mm -mm, is a giraffe, por ejemplo. He is in the field, mm -mm -mm, y ponen, she, y por, mi giraffe, por ejemplo, es nena. She is in the film y ponen el nombre de la peli. And then, you write about things that he or she can and can't do. ¿Sí? Pueden basarse en lo que hace en la peli. Elijan dos cosas que hace y dos cosas que no hace. ¿Yes? ¿Sí? Por ahí no puede volar. Can't fly or can't swim or sing. ¿Yes? ¿Sí? Ok. Very good. We are going to do this exercise for homework. ¿Yes? ¿Sí? Este ejercicio lo hacen de tarea. Ok, very good. Now, we're going to go back to your book. Vamos a volver al libro. Al student's book. Page 31. Page 31, yes? And we're going to do exercise 8. This listening activity. So, les doy un segundito para que abran el libro de nuevo. Yes? And we're going to do exercise 8. Are you there? Are you ready? ¿Están listos? Yeah. Exercise 8, page 31. Listening. Let's read the title. Read and choose. Listen and check. So, we're going to read and choose and then listen and check. We have three animals. Tenemos tres animales. A bat, a dolphin and a tiger. What is a bat? What is a bat? ¿Saben qué es un bat? Como Batman. Good, es un murciélago. A dolphin, you know. Yes, un delfín and a tiger. Yes, un tigre. Now we're going to read and choose. Vamos a leer y a ver qué animal es según lo que dice. Number one. It can run and climb. It can't fly. What is it? Write it on the chat. Escriban en el chat. Super easy. It can run and climb. It can't fly. What is it? Bat, dolphin or tiger? Tiger. Can run and climb, can't fly. Good! A ver, tiger. Después vamos a escuchar y chequear. Now, number two. It can swim and jump. It can sing too. But it can't run or climb. So it can swim, jump, and sing. But it can't. It can't run or climb. It's a good dolphin. 
Excellent. Ustedes van escribiendo las respuestas en el chat, ¿sí? Now, number three. It can, it can fly in the dark, but it can't jump. It can fly in the dark. What is it? Good, that. Now, let's listen and check. Vamos a escuchar y chequear si lo que hicimos está bien. Unit 3A, Exercise 8. Read and choose. Listen and check. OK, Joe. Are you ready? It can run and climb. It can't fly. What is it? It's a tiger. Good. Great. Well done. Here's another. It can swim and jump. It can sing too. But it can't run or climb. It's a dolphin. Good. Yes, that's right. Now, it can fly in the dark, but it can't jump. It's a bat. Good. Good, very good. Bueno, espero que lo hayan corregido. Si no, lo corrigen ahora rápido. With a green pen. Yes? And write self-corrected or corrected in class. Como ponen con su seño, yes? Excellent. Very good. Now, let's see. We're going to work with a handout. Yes? Very good. You can close your books now. Podemos cerrar el libro. And we're going to work with a handout. Yes? ¿Se acuerdan los handouts, las fotocopias que tiene el aula virtual? With this one. This is a handout. A story about and the number one. So you click here, si no, no lo bajaron todavía y lo imprimieron o lo copiaron, cuando lo busquen después lo tienen acá, ¿sí? Hands out a story about. Bueno, luego cuando hacen clic lo abren. And it's this one, yes? A story about... Mm -mm. What does it mean? ¿Qué significa? A story about. Good. Una historia sobre. Let's see. Vamos a ver de qué se trata esta historia. Vamos a leer el título. Read the words and look at the pictures in the word bank. Read the story. Choose a word from the box. Write the correct word next to the numbers 1 to 6. There is one example. So first, read the words and look at the pictures in the word bank. This is the word bank. Yes? Este es como el banco de imágenes que tenemos. Vamos, let's have a look at the pictures and the words. This one. Number one is an example, dice. Como es un ejemplo, ya va a estar hecho. Walk. Yes? Walk. What is to walk? Good. Caminar. Then pirate. A pirate. Good. Un pirata. Talk. What is to talk? Talk. Good. Hablar. Computer. A computer. Excellent. Una computadora. A map. This is a map. Excellent. Mapa. A table. Very easy, a table. Una mesa. Good. Books. Books. Look, what's different here? We have a table and books. ¿Qué tenemos al final de la palabra? A nest. Very good. It's a plural noun. Yes, es un plural porque we have two books. Yes? Bread, bread, and read, and read es leer. Y bread, que no dijimos es, what's this? Pan, very good. Now let's see, which ones are nouns? ¿Cuáles son los sustantivos, los objetos? ¿Cuáles objetos tenemos? We have books, 
plural dijimos que era F. ¿eh? Y los que son singular tenemos computer, bread, table, map, and pirate. Very good. Que son cosas, son nouns. Nouns son los sustantivos. Then we have actions. ¿Sí? Las acciones, verbs. Actions or verbs. Let's see. Um, read, walk, and talk. Very good. Okay, these are verbs. Estos son verbos. Read, talk, and walk. So, now, read the story and choose a word from the box. We're going to read and we have to complete here with a word from the box. Let's see. So, every Monday afternoon, I go to the library with my friend Pat. First, we walk inside and start looking for interesting mm -mm -mm, to read. We start looking for interesting mm -mm -mm, to read. ¿Qué usamos para leer? What do we use to read? To read, what do we use to read? Excellent. Books. When Pat finds the book she wants, she sits at a mm -mm -mm, and she starts to mm -mm it. So, when Pat finds the book, what is to find? Encontrar, very good. Finds the book she wants, el libro que quiere. She sits. Sit down. What is sit? Good. Se sienta. At a. ¿Dónde se puede sentar? At a. Right from the chat. She sits at a. Good. Table. And she starts to mm -mm, eat. So. Y comienza a. Mm -mm. ¿A qué puede comenzar? Do we need a noun or a verb? ¿Necesitamos un objeto o un verbo, una acción? ¿Ella empieza a qué? Good, empieza a hacer algo. Yes, so we need a verb. Necesitamos un verbo porque empieza a hacer una acción. So she starts to... What can you do with the book? ¿Qué puede hacer con el libro? She starts to... Good, read it. Excellent. Now, I like mm -mm -mm stories, but when I can't find one, I look at the mm -mm on the wall. So, I like mm -mm -mm stories. So, let's see. Algo que pueda tener que ver con un tipo de historias. I like mm -mm stories. ¿Historias de qué puede ser? Very good. I like pirate stories. Excellent. But when I can't find one, I look at the mm -mm -mm on the wall. Si yo miro algo, on the wall, what is on the wall? Good, está sobre la pared. So, do we need here a noun? Or a verb. A noun era un sustantivo, un objeto. Or a verb. An action, una acción, un verbo. Good, necesitamos un sustantivo, algo que puede estar sobre la pared. So, I look at the... ¿Qué podemos poner sobre la pared? Good, a map. I look at the map on the wall. I imagine visiting different countries. Oh, very good. Chicos, se pone a ver un mapa en la pared y se imagina visitando diferentes países. Let's see. Let's see. I imagine visiting different countries. Brazil, Australia, Italy, Japan. When Pat finishes her book, we play on the mm -mm -mm. 
where can you play? On the... Very good. We play on the computer. After that, we do our homework together. Después de eso, we do our homework together. Very, very good. Hacen la tarea. Lo leemos una vez más para ver cómo quedó. Every Monday afternoon, I go to the library with my friend Pat. First, we walk inside and start looking for interesting books to read. When Pat finds the book she wants, she sits at the table and starts to read it. And, and she starts to read it. I like pirate stories, but when I can't find one, I look at the map on the wall. I imagine visiting different countries, Brazil, Australia, Italy, Japan. When Pat finishes her book, we play on the computer. After that, we do our homework together. Very good. Now, we're going to choose the best name for the story. Vamos a elegir el mejor nombre para la historia. The best name for the story. Vamos a ver las opciones que tenemos. Let's see. My friend Pat. My friend Pat. Is the story about Pat? ¿Toda la historia es sobre Pat y su vida? Mm, no. La verdad que no. Now, let's have a look at this one. The pirate. Is the story about a pirate? ¿La historia es sobre un pirata? Mm, no, tampoco, porque la verdad que no habla de un pirata. Now, we have a morning at the library and afternoons at the library. Which one is it? Ojo que puede haber una trampa. A morning at the library. What is the morning? Good. Una mañana en la biblioteca. The afternoons at the library son las tardes en la biblioteca. A morning. And which one is it? Leemos la primera oración. Every Monday afternoon I go to the library with my friend Pat. So, the best name for the story is... Escríbanlo en el chat. A ver, ¿cuál es el mejor nombre para la historia de estos cuatro que, vi, que vimos? A ver, si lo escriben todos en el chat. Very good. Afternoons at the library. Excellent. Very good. Now we have to complete the title of the handout with the name you choose. Vamos a completar el título de la historia con el nombre que elegimos, que era este, ¿sí? Afternoons at the library. So, here, a story about... And you're going to write the title of the book, of the, of the story, sorry. A story about... Dijimos, afternoons at the... Library. Afternoons at the library. Excellent. Well done, guys. Very good. Well, this is it. Now we're going to check uh, what we have for homework for next class. Vamos a ver qué tenemos de tarea para la clase que viene. Virtual classroom. Aula virtual. Homework. Tarea. Remember to do exercise D from the hands out famous animals. Recuerden hacer el ejercicio de del handout de los animales famosos. And we have online homework. Animals can or can't. Yes? So, vamos a ver cómo es. Animals can or can't. Vamos a ver cómo funciona. Let's see. Look. Read the sentences carefully. Write can 
who can't. And choose between and, but, and or. Entonces, tenemos que escribir right o can o can't. ¿Sí? Miren cómo está acá con mayúsculas. ¿eh? And choose, what is to choose? Elegir entre and, but, y or. Vamos a ver las oraciones. For example, this one. Parrots. What are parrots? Yes, Laura. Parrots. Acá tenemos que escribir can o can't fly. ¿Qué pondríamos? Can o can't fly. Good. Pondríamos can fly. Y sing and, but, o or. ¿Cuál de los tres? First of all, vamos a ver, son dos habilidades, fly y sing, two abilities. ¿Puede hacer las dos? Ok, so, si puede hacer las dos, ponemos and. ¿Yes? En el caso de que no pudieran, los negativos, dijimos que usaba otro conector. ¿Sí? Ojo. You have to choose between and, but, or or. ¿Yes? Ok, well, this is it for today. Uh, if you have any questions, you can write it on the chat. And see you next class. Bye-bye.